All right, so I have gone with a pipe across performance air filter. Hopefully, we'll just give it a bit more better airflow, maybe some better induction sounds. With that plus the removal there, we'll see what it sounds like. Also, there is another mod you can do. So you see this side, it's open. This side is blocked off. So right now, if I put that there, the air comes in through the vent up there, along this bit, into there, and then out. What you can do is cut some holes here, cut that through, so then it's going in from both places. It's similar to like the more expensive induction kits. Um, so that will come up here, go through there, and straight into the box, so there's less uh, space to travel to. Okay, so at the air box, there is eight screws holding it in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You just unscrew them. They won't come out all the way. They'll like stay in to so just loosen them. And then you can lift it up and drop it. In. The size of the torque screws are this, T20. I think I said T25 earlier, but it's actually T20. If we try that, there you go. It's the right fit. So loosen all of them and then we'll drop it in. Once you loosen them up, you should be able to just lift lift it up. You don't want to put too much stress on it, but there you can see. So the other thing I want to do is remove this guard there. It's called a snow guard. Um, and I think if you remove it, it just frees up the airflow. So I'm going to try and do that now. Okay, so there we have it. Just take it out. This is what the filter looks like really thin comparison so this is the stock one and that is a performance one all it is a case of now is simply lifting this up dropping this in like so literally all you need to do now is just tighten up the screws and we'll give it a rev and see if it sounds any different